board. But you know where they had pixel cameras? But apparently that's what we do now. We did it on Vanderpump. We did it on the Valley. We did it on Atlanta. We did it on Beverly Hills. This is just the new norm. We have pick cameras back up on the OC because Jennifer Pedantry's, I had a little text exchange with Miss Pedantry this past weekend. Um, What? I did. You're burying the lead here again. Uh, This is enormous because this story is huge with her husband, Ryan. It's huge. I have to say, I went to do my research and I, you know, I'm like a dumb lawyer. I, it's not that I'm a dumb lawyer, but I just don't have the time. I just got really confused. I tried to say step one, step two, let's break this all down. But basically, have you made any sense of this? There's illegal gambling yes. debts, 16 million, the FBI. T- tell us what you know, because I started taking notes and I'm like, I don't fucking care. I This is too much for me. Well, I will say it's uh, it's a bit boring, but yeah, it's a huge story here in Los Angeles because it involves be. supposed to be what he's going to be the greatest baseball player of all time, Shohei Otani uh, with the L.A. Dodgers and Otani's assistant, Mazazuri, Maz- I think I'm saying his name wrong, but anyway, he is a he's an American Japanese interpreter. And was best best friends with Shohei. So they and and was Shohei Otani's interpreter. I don't I don't believe Shohei speaks much English at all. And Shohei is the baseball player, the oh, LA Dodgers. Oh. And I mean, my husband, wow. who is obsessed with sports, tells me oh. Otani is the greatest thing of all time. And what makes Otani so unbelievable is he can pitch and he can hit, which most baseball players can never do. Plus, I think he plays outfield or something, and he's a, exceptional at that. So he's this triple threat in baseball, which rarely comes along. And and he's got a billion-dollar contract, one of the, oh. if not the biggest contract of all time. So anyway, his assistant was – it's illegal to gamble. Interpreter, yeah. Interpreter in the state of California. He was going to – Jennifer Pedantry's husband as the middleman booker. Now this now uh, now. So Ryan, like a gambling booker, and then what? You how does again like you take money if you're you a take it to booker? a bookie, and the bookie is the one probably with Vegas or wherever placing your bets, but collecting the money and paying you out in the state of California, illegal, and doing this all through Otani's bank accounts, which the guy did not have. But so Ryan, did he do that or did his best friend associate? Because the best friend associate is the alleged actual bookie. Now, the best friend associate has not been arrested yet. But what's very interesting is Ryan has been given all immunity, all immunity by the government. Only if he turns, though, right? Well, of course. I mean, he's given the immunity based on, you know, that they believe he's going to talk. So he's going to give up his good friend who was the bookie. You have to. You have to. The bookie is probably in the most trouble because that is so illegal. But Ryan, I mean, there. this is a bit of a... It's not a nothing burger, but Ryan is not going to go to jail as what we've seen from other housewives, husbands and wives and yada, yada, because he's... Right, he's been, and I'm it. so sorry because I'm friends with Renee Graziano from Mob Wife. She's been, sorry, Renee. I, I'm a rat. I would give everything up. Like if I were whoever, I'd be like Jen Shaw. She did it. Throw the book at her. I want immunity. I would, unless you're like in my family. I think I'd have to give up my best friend. Sorry, I'm a fucking rat. Everybody's Renee, a rat. Now. Renee no, would no, kick no, me. I- Renee would kick me to the curb. But let's still have this a old mob code may have existed sixty years ago, but it doesn't now. Nobody cares. We're all rats. Rat. Um, and yeah. So I mean, no. I mean, it is. It is enormous. It is enormous. Uh, because here's the thing. This is what my husband tells me. Who he likes to gamble, but only when we're in states that allow it. So what he says is this: Mazuri, the the assistant to Otani. That when you go to gamble and you say, all right, I'm going to put up a million dollar bet. They, that the book, no matter where it is, the casinos, the book, they, they want, they get access to your accounts. They want to know that if you place it, that you've got it because you know, so my husband always thinks this is a little bit, this whole thing is a little uh, fishy, even around Otani, because they would be checking they would know Missouri, who is a, a, a an assistant. He he ain't gonna have access to seventeen million, fifteen million. He's not gonna have access to a million dollar bet. So Correct. my husband always thinks this story is a bit shady because 
Did Otani just say, all right, I trust my assistant completely. I know he's interpreter. or interpreter. Thank you. Uh, he, he wouldn't steal from me. He has access to my accounts or were these bets was Otani saying, Hey, let's make these bets together. You, you make the bet. You, you've got to do it. Cause I can't, I can't, he certainly and can't. And this baseball, baseball person is not in trouble. Just the, not at all. Been totally internal investigation. And he's cleared. Well, of course, my husband says, of course, he's going to be clear because just he's like Andy Kong. Now, uh, this is alleged. This is our alleged theory at <laughs> alleged, our house. Alleged, alleged. Okay. There is no pro- oh, Otani says he's devastated. He was best friends with this interpreter for years. And I believe this part is true. For years, the interpreter never stole from him and had access to accounts, wrote, uh, then ended up writing like a shady check. So uh, Otani could be correct. Maybe th- maybe Otani has been completely violated. By his friend. But where it's shady, Ryan knew this guy was an interpreter. So why was Ryan allowing this guy to place million dollar bets, $2 million right. bets when yeah. you're, you, dude, you're an interpreter making maybe 150, 200 grand a year? Well, these are all good questions. Now, what I find more interesting, cameras to back up, is the, uh, we got a rat, we got a rat, and she is scurrying, and she... Someone told me that over the weekend, she doesn't even deserve Gouda. She deserves the slices of Munster wow. cheese with the rat. Yeah, you guys are rude to the rat. The rat that scurries. But the rat that scurries did pick up. And I won't, like, never spoken to Jennifer Pedantry in my life. But I had to weigh in. Because the rat that scurries to film wore a hat that said FBI on it. Okay. Which seems to imply. Because remember last season, the rat said, I mean, she came on as pedantry came on as tamrat's friend and then tamrat kind of threw her to the wolves and said you know ryan was trying to sleep with me even though he's friends with eddie remember all that last season yeah so anyway the rat showed up to cameras back up and was having an fbi hat on which is a little shady to miss pedantry and ryan so then miss pedantry put on her story block 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 but also had on a hat that said trash in response to Miss Rat, Miss Judge. And she said, is this too much? So I couldn't help myself. I could not help myself as behind the velvet rope. So I responded to her story and I said, no, it's perfect. Here I go inserting myself. And so I won't go to Sutton's party, but I couldn't help myself. So I said, no, it's perfect. No introduction. No, hi, Jennifer. You know what the behind the velvet rope is. Come on. So I said, no, it's perfect. So then Jennifer responded and said, thought so. Mm -hmm. Then I proceeded to tell her, these are real DMs. I said, I call her the rat that scurries on my pod, which seems to be now how my audience refers to her. Whoops. Then I proceeded to send her screenshots of people tweeting this. Here's one. I told you I had a story for you. David of Behind the Velvet Rope calls Tamara the rat that scurries, LOL. That was a tweet last week from Mary Cosby's Closet. Shout out to Mary Cosby's Closet. Then on YouTube, someone said, Carolyn Grant 685 said, the rat that scurries, honest a god, needs adding to the Oxford Dictionary. And then she showed a dictionary insert that said, Tamara won the rat that scurries. So I proceeded to take screenshots of these things and send them to Jennifer Pedantry to let her know that we here behind the vel- velvet rope and the Sarah Fraser show refer to Tamara as the rat that scurries. The rat. That's she, she, then, she then responded and just, so it's, I'm not revealing anything really, but I somehow out of nowhere just decided that I should inform her that uh, you're not being too rude to Tamara. She deserves uh, all of stuff you're getting no offense to the rat but she is the so i did inform miss pedantry that we refer to her as such i don't know is that a funny story sometimes i just dm people what the hell (sighs) well it's gonna be an interesting one i mean do you think now with rhoc picking back up because everybody was talking about that this week heather dubrow filming with rhoc uh jennifer pedantry this whole thing with ryan now that they allude to it all season and then it breaks tamra uh shannon i mean what do we think vicky's back as a friend which we said oh she'll never or she said she'd never 